Today I want to discuss about fine knot crossbow knots. This is a very confusing subject, so I want to take some time to really discuss about it. As you can see, this is the list of 11 crossbow knots we make. Why so many and why is there so many forms of it? Well, as you can see, the original F knot and M knot, which we have it here, which is the F knot, which means flat, and the M knot, which means moon knot, which is here. This is pretty much the only knot we make and we got the pattern on the double O-ring system. Because see, in the old days, there is three major arrows, which is the eastern, that's 298,000. The most of the gold tip or the fine knot or even victory or flag eagle, they are the 300,000. And then you got the old 2219, that's 303. So instead of making three sizes, we figured the best way to do it is put two O-rings on it. If you look at our menu from the F and M knock on the very bottom. See that? You oh, See, in the old days, we don't have the end cap, so we have C and D. Now we ignore it. With this table, you can see that. With the 2219, you put two of the thick one, which is the M5.0 by 1.2. So they will fit because they make a 304,000 on the outside. And then, but if you shoot a gold tip, there's 300. You need a thick one on the, on the, on the back side and a thin one on the front side. That's the only way to put it, um, unless you really want to put put, uh, uh, put Vaseline or whatever and find a way to squeeze it into a super tight fit, but it's really not needed. But in case of you shoot an Eastern, that's 298,000, then you put two of the thin ones. That's it. But then things got a little bit complicated and even we have, during the years we have changed. It, you can see that in the old days, the F9 is absolutely flat with nothing. But since the bow is getting more and more tricky to work with. You notice that our F knot actually got texture on it. In the case and our M knot used to be a little bit deeper, now it come out. The reason for that, because see, we noticed that a lot of customer would bought really great arrow from us, but they move from bow to bow to bow. Well, some bow need a moon knot, some bow need a flat knot, and some bows need full containment system. And like this. And we also have to take into the effect that some of the older bow or some of the special arrow system also are different. Now, just like in the case of the Y knot, you can see right here, that's the only arrow that's usually made by Carbon Express, okay? That's 285 to 287,000. It was only offered in the half moon. And you notice that it is significantly wider and longer right here because it, the Carbon Express is majority a uh, fiberglass enhanced arrow. So you need all the shock proving in the knock to make it work better. Okay, and then you notice that we also have all the different small sizes, which means it's this bundle right here. Wow, there's a lot of knot to just fit the 300 size, except one. Now if you look at every single fine knot, you take a clear look at it, right on the knock cylinder, which you can see right here. That's numbers here. Those number is exactly what this number is. Now the original D knot that we made back in 2010, actually 11, is made for the PSC Tech 15. It is unique because you have a 298,000 ID, which is the same carbon arrow as original Eastern. So you also have 165,000 serving on the Tech 15. That's the reason this knot is unique. If you want to use a PSE Tech 15 original arrow, you this is the only knot that will fit that bow. Now we also make the D2, is that when people want to use our arrow bolt, now you're from 298 to 300,000. That's the same profile as the D knot, but with a 300,000. But then we find out that 165,000 is getting more and more popular. Like the new uh, um, Mission, Mission Crossbow, they move from 155,000 to 165,000, which means that, let me show you the difference between a D and D2, so you can see what's the difference. You can see that, the D2 and D3, that's the difference. Because see, the Mission Crossbow have an anti-dry fire mechanism right under behind the knock, which means that if you put anything longer, you will force the string to be like this. The string will be in the middle, touching my finger, while there will be a dry fire situation. So the D2 will no longer work, but a D3 will. As you can see, D3 is, is actually come from J, U, and C. All this four is based on the super short 
accommodating the anti -drive, the immediate anti drive fire system, unlike the the Q knock and the D two knock, which has a much longer prong. You can see that they have the same throw. Now, why do I make all this small stuff? Because how the crossbow design is so different now. Okay, let me explain to you why we don't make a knock for a specific company, but we make knock for all the sizes. You can see a number from here from hundred and fifteen thousand to hundred and sixty five thousands. Why is it so many sizes? This is reason because the, the bow company all decided to use different size servings. When you have different size servings, you need to react to it differently. I say, well, you know, if I got a string, say a scoper at 145,000, what kind? You just use the QNAC. And while in the scoper desk scoper, I use the UNAC. Well, we also have to take in consideration of the crossbow design. Let me sort of pull a death stalker from Scorpion and, and then and show you the difference. <clears throat> this is 143,000 string. If I go ahead and put a Q nut on it, you can see it fit very nicely, but it's very loose. Look at that. This is great if you got a full rail crossbow. The reason for that, because see, as the cam and string move back and forward, that is per maybe imperfection from cam to cam, which means the string is going to move like this a little bit. If the knot is super tight, the more we do that, this knot will force the arrow to ride the rail, which means the front whole arrow will move back and forward in this small motion, which will cause the arrow to be inaccurate. But in the case of a semi railless, yes, or full railless, like a Tech 15, uh, a, a Raven, or in the case Scorpion, you can see that there is no rail here. The arrow actually traveled not touching the rail. Now, under this condition, a whole different knot is needed for this. Now, you need a knot that is reasonably tight. Now, that's the word, reasonably tight. The U knot will clip onto the string, okay? but you will not move. You can see that it's tight. It will not do sideway motion, which now you gain the accuracy. That's the reason for the for anything that's semi railless or railless, you need to make sure the knot click onto the string, not super tight, but you will not allow the arrow, uh, allow, allow the string to move sideway. In other words, when you clip onto it, the knot is not gonna move. See that? That is a time when you do a semi railless crossbow. Now you notice that all our fine knot knot system have one of the major difference from any other knot in the, in the market. <clears throat> you see how round this piece is? And then it round itself all the way down. And then you got a relief clip right here, okay? That is our 2006 patent approach towards all knot engagement and disengagement. This gives the knot a clean release, which means that if your string is now oval or worn out, you lose efficiency. In other words, our knot is designed for people who are string that's perfect. Because the more you use this system, the more you the more you demand from the equipment. Because the higher the speed it is, everything has to be just right. Now then, on the last subject, I want to mention a lot of customer call me and say, hey, you know, uh, I have a crossbow and then every time I, I try to use your clip system and it didn't work because the arrow end up sitting like this. Imagine you got a flat surface and the arrow sit like this over the rail. I cannot use anything but the half moon. Well, actually in most cases, not even that worked. Let me explain to that a little bit. Assume this is the rail, this is the knock, and this is the string. If you take a close look, this is ideal. But unfortunately, a lot of crossbow, like the Barnett uh, uh, Killer Instinct, their knock actually sit more like this. That means the center of the knock, it's actually the string was below it. So if you put a full containment system, the arrow will go like this. 
So you have to use a half moon. But in most cases, that's not even right. Because when you do that, you're relying 100% of the arrow retainer to push down the arrow. So what can you possibly do with it? Well, unfortunately, there's nothing much you can do. A few guys, have, which, which is a little bit more adventurous than I am, what they do is that they very smartly increase the diameter of the string serving. Now the moon knot is sitting the center now. See that? Well, that pretty much concluded the few things that I got phone call for the last three weeks about crossbow knots. Any question, leave comments underneath it. I will answer them as the best I could. All right, have a wonderful day.